as we are coming up towards the end of March, I thought that today would be a good day to do a review of how I'm getting on with surveys and market research. Um, the year tends to start out slowly and I think as we get towards um, the end of the, the tax year, companies slow down a little bit because they're waiting for their new marketing budgets in April. So it's not been quite as buoyant as it normally is. Last year I think I was earning on average about £200 a month from taking surveys and doing market research. We're a bit lower at the moment, I think I'm averaging about 150 but we are only three months into the year. So I'm going to give you a little overview and I'm going to do that by way of um, a chart that I keep that gives me a good quick glance overview of how well things are doing. And if I find that a certain survey site is not rewarding enough for the amount of time it takes or I'm just not getting any surveys, then I will knock those off my list and I will stop doing them. Some of the survey sites are long haul, so it takes a long time to reach the cash out amount, but the cash out amount is quite large. It might be £20, it might be £50, and I have several where you have to work towards £50. In particular, why surveys and YouGov pay when you hit the, the £50 threshold. Uh, but it's worth it for the amount of work you do because you might cash out several times a year, which isn't bad for just doing surveys on your phone. Market research is really where the money is. And I've been lucky to get a couple of surveys so far this year, plus one or two smaller ones that are more like surveys rather than market research. So as you can see from my charts here, uh, market research has so far paid me this year £160 and that is for three surveys or three market research projects. As you can see YouGov and Y surveys have already paid out once this year so that's £50 each and a lot of the others are uh, Your Say Pays has also cashed out on its £20 minimum. It takes ages to get to the limit for Your Say Pays because they don't hand out many surveys but for the amount of work you do I still think it's worth it. So uh, some other sites that I've been using a bit more lately Crowdology is one that I started using towards the end of last year and that's doing quite well as well. Atapol continues to be quite a good site it gives you lots and lots of surveys and it's just whether or not you get screened out. Um, Views Bank has also cashed out they have a £10 minimum on theirs and it takes a while to get there but again the, the number of surveys that you get is reasonably limited and they don't take long to do. So this is kind of working out quite well. There's one site that um, I'm waiting on a survey at the moment that's Bulbshare. It has a £15 um, supermarket research project coming up which I hope I will get so that might add to that one. The one site I think I might scrap fairly soon is Cash Walk. That's one where you earn points for walking steps. So you have an app on your phone and it monitors the number of steps that you uh, that you do and you get like a coin for every hundred steps and it's more like a passive income because if you're walking around anyway um, you might as well just make money out of it but the cashing out threshold has been increasing and increasing and increasing um, I can only cash out with gift cards and I tend to cash out with Tesco gift cards and I've only made a fiver so far this year and to be honest with you the app is just taking up space on my phone so I might get rid of that one. Um, some other sites that might pay out Influence used to be a really good site last year 
but that's been really poor for handing out surveys. I found their app quite glitchy this year. It keeps offering me surveys and when I go in, they've ended the survey and uh, I'm kind of getting a bit bored of it. I'd like to hang on until I cash out because I'm halfway up to the £10 cash out minimum. So I might hang on to that until I reach the £10 and then get rid of that one. Uh, some of the other sites, very, very slow haul. Again, I might wait until I cash out on them and then get rid of them. It would be nice to get down to a really tight set of survey sites that I know are going to pay. But sometimes you have to experiment. And with some sites, you will get lots of surveys for a bit. Then it'll all go quiet. Then all the surveys will start up again. So it's worth taking uh, the long haul view and seeing what happens over the course of a year and of course it all goes into the pots I have plenty of spare time to do surveys um, I will sit down in the evening when I'm watching TV and fill out surveys or if I'm you know waiting to go into an appointment and, I've, and I'm 10 minutes early I'll sit and do a few surveys so I'm not putting aside time especially like I used to so last year I would put aside time to make sure I did X number of surveys each day and I get screened out a lot because I don't have much spending power I don't have subscription packages I don't go on holiday abroad um, I'm not looking to buy a new car in the next two years there are lots of things which mean I get screened out of lots of surveys if you have all those types of things in your life and you have a bigger spending power than me you will probably get a lot more surveys than me that's the simple fact of it so yeah it's it's quite difficult for me to get surveys purely because of my lifestyle but um you know potentially i can be making 150 pounds a month and that seems to be still be an average if i look at all the months and divide them up equally that's kind of what i'm looking at and the market research really does pay that um for the amount of work i do for an individual market research survey the money is really good I, uh, the two major surveys I've done this year have paid £80 and £70 and if you divide that into an hourly rate that's more money than I could ever imagine making at any other job I've ever had in my life. So, <clears throat> so that's definitely worth the effort. I have had to apply for a lot of market research surveys but it only takes a few minutes to apply. They're not big, uh, big applications, it's like taking a survey. So I, I find that it's worth it um, for that investment and we'll see how we go for the rest of the year. I might not see any more surveys now for, um, you know, three or four months. That tends, what's, that tends to happen. I tend to not get anything and then suddenly I'll be chosen for a couple. And it depends how relevant they are to my life and how many people apply. You know, they need to get a good demographic on a market research survey. And if I apply and they've already filled that particular demographic, which might be people in a certain um, uh, earning uh, band, uh, people of a certain age, people in a certain area, it makes a huge difference. So this is where I am with surveys at the moment. If you're looking to make some pocket money, just trying to boost your money a little bit each month just to get by. You know, £150 a month in surveys could pay your food bill. It could pay your gas and electric bill. It could pay your, you know, your car insurance for the year, all that sort of thing. So it is worth doing if you have the time. If you work a full-time job but you're not making enough money maybe you have a commute like you're stuck on a train or a bus for hours sit and do surveys I mean you could turn that sitting around time into making some extra money and if you have a better demographic than me you could be making more money than me so it's definitely worth thinking about this is my little update for really the end of March um, and I will probably do this every few months to show how things are going but I hope you can see all the names of the different um, survey companies at the bottom which shows you what I'm using at the moment some of these are very passive uh, on the left there you have Bauer and that is um, a recycling app which uh, pays you for recycling so all I do is when I'm going to put something into the rubbish I scan the barcode that's all I have to do
Shopix is for scanning your shopping receipts. So when I've been shopping, I scan the receipt. It doesn't require a lot of work. I, I think of that as a passive um, like a, a passive site where I'm doing something already. Let's turn it into some money. So those those two sites, which you know, they, they don't pay out huge amounts of money, and again, that is based on my uh, my shopping ability. So most of the shopping I buy is yellow stickers. Um, I don't spend very much money. I don't buy very much. So that's why that is low. If I was spending four or five hundred pounds a year on branded products and I was buying lots of things and with like with Shopix I was going to lots of retailers and I was filling up the car with petrol every week all that would uh, would would, in, would increase that uh, Bauer uh, they cash out at a very low amount of money I think that I think that the least you can cash out is something like 80p or something and Shopix will cash out when you reach a fiver so I've had one this year already, but it'll take me a while to get there because I don't have that many shopping receipts. But that's fine. I'm already going shopping anyway. I have the receipt. I might as well take a photograph of it. That's all it takes. So the uh, the passive ones are quite good just because I'm already doing it. And it was the same with the, uh, the cash walk. I'm just getting a bit bored of cash walk now. I might have a look because there are lots of these walking apps that pay you and there might be one that's better. Um, it used to be better when Cashwalk was paying you at a lower rate. So I think it started out at um, 1,200 points you could cash out. And in the time that I've been with them since last year, they've been putting it up and putting it up and putting it up. So it's harder and harder to cash out. It's now 3,700 points and that takes a long time for me to get there. Partly because I'm not doing the 10,000 steps a day. Um, because I work from home and uh, it's been winter. Maybe once the weather changes, I might change my mind and go back on it and give it another go. But for now, uh, I think I'm going to wait until I hit the next cash out, which is coming up quite soon. I'm getting there. And then I think I might drop the app for a while and just make more space on my phone's memory because it's a, it's a, it's a big memory drain. Uh, so that's it. So that's my update on surveys. If you have any questions about doing surveys, all these survey sites I do on my phone. I do on a smartphone. Some of them you can do on um, on a laptop or, you know, with the apps, with a tablet. Um, but if you're not a smartphone user, some of these will not be very good. Market research you can you can do on a computer and I get um, emails whenever a new market research project comes up and then I can either reply or just delete the email. Um, and I should probably include a list of my market research companies that I use. I will add that to the side here. I don't have too many of those at the moment. Um, but I tend to hang on to the ones that at least give me lots of projects, even if I don't always get through, because there are some sites that you join and you'll get like two surveys a year or something. And if I'm going to be downloading apps to my my phone and what have you and putting in the effort, I want to know that at some point it's it's going to pay out. So, yeah, so I will, you was, you'll, you'll see that there and you'll be able to see all the different market research project companies that I'm registered with, who I get emails from, and it really depends on how you get on with them. Um, there are some that I have more success with than others, but they're all worth giving a go because they all present a reasonable number of research projects every month, and you never know when the right one's going to come up. And you don't have to apply for everything. Um, they don't. They look. They don't look very favourably on people that take lots and lots of market research because they want to get a nice wide demographic. So just be aware of that. Um, if you've just done one with a project site, they probably won't let you apply again for a while because they like to make sure they've got a good range of people. But if there's a particular project that you think is really, really specific to you, and you can adding your voice to that market research is good, apply it. They could. The, if you don't get through, you won't get through. 
So I hope that's been useful. Um, if you're looking to improve your income this year, this is a good way to do it if you have spare time. Maybe you're a carer, maybe you have children and you're, you're an at-home parent, maybe you have long commutes, maybe you only have part-time work. Um, and this could just be a nice little top up just to keep things ticking over if, um, if you have the time on your hands. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, comments below and if you've got any questions let me know or if you, there's another site that you use that I've never heard of, uh, go for it. Um, I would like to, I'm always up for finding new places so you don't always find everything that you need and sometimes it's word of mouth. But um, I hope that's been useful and thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.